Auto caption on CapCut is free. So why are you guys complaining about Pro feature? I'm confused. Are we using different CapCut apps? Um, I don't get it. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Queen Kerry, your favorite video editor who teaches you how to up your editing game from beginner to pro. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use auto caption that you guys claim to be pro. Actually, it is pro, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it for free. And in my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to color grade. And in my next video, I'm going to be, I'm not going to expose everything here. Subscribe to my channel, turn on post notification and get ready. And if you don't know how to change your background, enhance your voice, because obviously I'm not using my microphone. These, yeah, I'm not using that. I'm just using a little LED light, which is not necessary because in my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned no light, no microphone to high volume, high color grading in my next video. So if you miss it, you miss it because nobody wants to watch some scrappy videos. Okay. Yeah. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add the auto captions for free. And make sure you watch this old video because from here, you get a lot of ideas on how to actually edit your videos, even if your CapCut is pro. Are you guys ready? Let's get straight into editing. I need you all to pay attention because this CapCut app I'm currently using is not the pro version app. But if you're using the pro version app, you'll be seeing pro on whatever I'm going to show you. And it's still the same thing. So normally, we all know that when we want to add auto captions, we click on text, the auto captions that we generate. But we cannot do that because all of them are now pro. What we're going to do now is instead of clicking on text, we're going to go to this place where they've showed captions. Click on caption, then click on this cancellation. So we're going to cancel it. If you look below now, this is what you see. So from here, we're going to click on the caption templates. If you're using the pro version cap cuts, some of these templates, some of them, not all of them, some of them are pro and some of them are free. What you want to do is choose the one that are free. Now I know all of them here are free. That's why I told you that this is not the pro version one, but on the pro version app, CapCut app here, some of them are pro, some of them are free. So you want to pick the one that is not pro, and make use of that and just generate your captions from there as you can see on the screen so like i said this is the free version app even if you have the pro version cap cuts try it right now it will work just pick any template that you want that's free and there you go you have it so let me show you another way that you can do this with another with one of them that is like pro that if you don't like any of the ones that are free what you want to do but then I prefer if you guys use this one, but I'm just going to show you another way you can do this. Okay, so just keep watching. Another way of adding caption is for those who might say, okay, I don't like the free captions. I don't really like the design. I want to use this. I want to use that. Oh, okay, it's up to you. What I want you to do is add your captions. Let's say you like this one. So you're just going to generate your captions. Here you go. As you can see on the screen. So what we're going to do is what I told you guys to do in my last video. Watch it is to screen record this. When you screen record it, let me, let's just do it. We're going to screen record this right now. My phone is actually on screen record. So we're screen recording this. So let's just screen record. So make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Like this video, share it to a friend who needs it immediately. And comment down below what you want to learn next. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. So we're done screen recording let's opt out right now so i can show you guys what to do next now that we have already screen recorded our video what we want to do is delete this caption which will be a pro caption on your side since you're using the pro version app so we're going to delete all the captions and then we're going to click on overlay and then import the video that we screen recorded can you see now make sure that video aligns with the one on top as you can see Make sure it's aligning. Next thing we want to do is click on the overlaid video and go to max. Now, when you go to max, click on rectangle. Make sure you stay on this max page. And you see this arrow face above this one on top and the one by the side. You can pull it to make it longer, pull it to make it longer, upwards, down, sideways, short, uh, you know. Now, and if you... Put your finger in the middle of it. You can move it. Look, let's... Yes, can you see that? It's only working with the overlaid video. So what we want to do now is we're going to shrink this to the size of where the caption starts from. So 
let's go to where the caption starts from so you can see can you see that so we're going to reduce it can you see that one part is longer than the other i don't know if you guys are seeing it but this part of the screen here if you go closer there's still more space here what we want to do is put your finger in the middle and move the box do you see that so if you reduce it it reduces perfectly so then shrink this to the size of where the caption is you can move it you see that circle in the middle just put your hands there and move it to where the caption is and reduce it to the size of that caption okay move don't feather anything though make sure it's perfect do you see that and click on yes now we're gonna use both fingers to increase this now there we go now we're gonna make it bigger to fit our hand can you see it almost looks like my hand is there do you see that do you guys see that now what you're going to do next click on that overlaid video volume reduce volume so it doesn't sure affect the real video and there you have it for make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos like this video share it to a friend who needs it immediately and comment down below what you want to learn next and i'll see you guys in my next one bye yep so that's how to add auto caption in another way but like i said you should use the first one because that's the best one and it's neater than this but just in case you don't like the free templates that will be available on the um like when you go to captions and you then you cancel if in case you don't like any of the free templates that then you want to use the pro version templates and you still want to use it then you can go this route i hope you guys found this video very helpful Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Like this video, share it to a friend who needs it immediately. And comment down below what you want to learn next. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.